Hey everybody, it's Elle or Ariel, and today I'm going to be doing a little quick review on the Free Me Pump. Now before I get started, I just wanted to say a quick shout out. I got an amazing package all the way from Germany, and I am so excited. You, you know who you are. I got an amazing pair of little pants and a bib handmade from, from somebody for our beautiful baby Gabriel, and I'm just so excited. Thank you so much. I'll try to remember to take a picture the next time he's in his little outfit because it's so freaking cute. Um, but I just wanted to do a quick shout out for you. Thank you so much for your beautiful gift, and if you guys ever um, want to do any correspondence or send us a letter or whatever, the P.O. Box is down below. So, uh, I just wanted to give you guys a quick review of the Free Me Pump. So first of all, first impressions, when I pulled it out of the box, you guys saw me do an unboxing of it. Um, if you guys want, go ahead and check out that unboxing. So anyways, I did the unboxing. My first impressions was, was that it was kind of a unique system. Um, before we arrived back from the hospital, um, while I was still pregnant, I sterilized everything and got everything set up so I'd be able to pump right away. And thank goodness I did, um, because it's a blessing and a curse but I have oversupply. Uh, if you guys haven't watched any of my other videos, down below there's a video link that's called Finally Diagnosed and I have hyperprolactinemia. If you want to know what that is, it caused some of our infertility problems but it also makes breastfeeding easier. Um, but it's the information's down below if you're curious. So I have oversupply and what that means is that sometimes my breast milk literally like squirts out at him while he's trying to eat and he gets very frustrated. Um, so I've noticed if I pump right when I first wake up and right before I go to bed um, generally speaking throughout the day we have a pretty easy time breastfeeding um, but for the most part um, I have to pump at least once a day and so that's why this pump has been amazing guys all you do is literally there's these cups and it slides into your shirt. Now you do have to be wearing something that has some kind of support, like there was one night I was just wearing like a night shirt and obviously it didn't like stay put the way it needed to so I had to hold the cups there um, against my chest to pump, but generally speaking anything, like right now I'm just wearing a tank top, like a nursing tank top, if you're curious what that is, it's a memory reminder from Etsy, they like let you know which side you're on. Um, but anyways, so and I'm not being endorsed by Free Me to say all this stuff. I just really believe in breastfeeding and breast milk and if you guys can pump, I think it's amazing. So anyways, so what's so cool about it is you can be wearing any top, any bra, any tank top, anything that has any support at all for your chest you can use the Freemie pump for, and it's amazing. The only thing that's weird is it does make you look a little bit like Betty Boop when you're using it because the cups are so much bigger than a normal bra or tank top or whatever. Um, so that's the only downside. Uh, the other thing that's a little funky is the suction is very strong. So I always keep it, I like turn it on, turn it all the way down, there's like a dial on it. I turn it all the way down, and then once I, you know, turn it on and everything, I slowly crank it up, and I usually only get like, you know, um, if like we're saying 100% is like the max power, max suction or whatever for it, I probably only get it to like 10% and I still feel very strong suction and I still get lots of milk. So if that is an issue for you guys, if you, you know, I'd say like when it's on the smaller, when it's like on the low suction, it's not uncomfortable at all. But um, I think that it's not necessarily a downside, it's actually more of a plus because I know sometimes people have trouble with machines that have lower suction and they don't get as good um, milk supply and stuff like that. So if you're looking for a machine with strong suction, this one is for you guys. I could not believe that. I was like, whoa! Uh, thank God I started on the smallest setting. Um, and the other funny thing that I, that it didn't really say in the instructions anywhere and I didn't figure out for a while, is that you have to have both cups firmly plugged into the suction like cords for there to be suction because at first when I and you have to have them against your skin so when I first like was putting the free me together and I like turned it on and like put it up against my hand just to like feel what the suction was like but I was still pregnant like I didn't want to put it on my chest um I was like wow there's like no suction here I don't understand and it was because you have to have like both um cups up against something that 
we have cause a suction or you have to have the tubes and you have to have the tubes plugged into them. Um, the other hack I have found with this is if you don't want to use both at the same time, like if I, I have one, um, you know, uh, breast that is like underproducing, or not underproducing, but making less than the other one. So sometimes what I'll do is I'll pump that side for a little bit, like an extra minute or two, then the other side, just to see if I can get these guys to even out a little bit. Um, so my hack for that is I literally like unplug the tube, but then put that tube up against something like my pajama pants or or like the bed sheets so that the, like it causes suction on the uh, the little tube and so I still get suction through the whole system. They do, uh, it does come with a tube some adapter thing if you just want to use one sided suction. So it does come with that, it's just kind of a pain in the butt to have to like redo the tubing every time you want to do that. And if I'm just going to be pumping one side for a couple minutes more, I just use my hack and just pull out the tube and put it up against the bed sheet and it's fine. Um, but seriously guys, get yourself a freemie if you can. If you live in Massachusetts, or actually I think because of Obamacare, you know, as long as they don't repeal anything. Um, <laughs> if, uh, if you live in the United States, I'm pretty sure you get an insurance covered pump. I know Massachusetts has, that, has had that as a law for a couple years, um, but I think throughout the United States now, you can get an insurance applied pump. And um, in my Fermi unboxing, I tell you guys where I got mine from. I think it's called Healthy Baby Essentials. So if you're in the Boston area, you can get yours from that company. Um, but there's other companies that do it. Um, and you can also get a Freemi adapter kit. So you can, if you have a Medela pump already, uh, but you're on like baby number two or something, you can get yourself a Freemi adapter kit off Amazon or there's like a couple places off the Freemi website. I think it's around $50, $55 for the adapters, but oh my gosh, guys, seriously. When I was going, when I was thinking about pumping early in pregnancy, before I knew about the Freemi, I, you know, had registered for like those like bustier, like bras with holes in them so you can like, put the, the Medela pump th cones like in and you don't have to hold it and whatever. And I mean, those exist and that's great. And if you like have to use a Medela for insurance reasons, like if for some reason they won't cover a free me, they, they do cover free me's. But if you have one and you have to use a Medela for whatever reason, like do your thing. But I just mean, like I can't imagine, I literally just slide these into my shirt. Like whatever shirt, whatever bra, whatever I'm wearing, I just slide them in. And having to pump twice a day, it's really freedom. Free me freedom. And I can't imagine like having to take ev all of my tops, like all my clothes off. Like I can't imagine like having to take everything off and then attach this like extra bra thing and then attach the cones. Like... That just seems so counterintuitive, especially there are times where I feel like engorged and I'm like, I need to pump right now and I'm like leaking. I do, I could not have time to do all that. The other amazing thing is that I have used the pump at least two times when I've had people over and it's hilarious because I'm, um, you know, I've had guests around a lot and stuff and sometimes, you know, they don't overstay their welcome, but they stay to the point where I need to pump or something like that. And I'll be like, all right, I'm just going to pump real quick. And they're like, oh, do you need us to leave the room? And I'm just like, no, it just slides into my shirt. <laughs> you don't have to do anything. <laughs> so there have been literally times where I just like slide my room and pumps in and turn it on. And I like, I'm still hanging out with friends, you know, finishing up a board game or something. We had a board game night. So I was like, I'm going to pump. And um, so that's been amazing. But yeah, if you guys can get yourself a freemie pump or an adapter, it's so worth it. Like I multitask like crazy wearing this. And I know I probably should like relax more when I'm like pumping, you know, you want to relax when you're pumping. But definitely uh, there have literally been many times where I'm like pumping and eating dinner or I'm pumping you know, and folding laundry. Like, I'm always doing at least one other thing when I'm pumping, and it's actually awesome because I, like, forget I'm even pumping, and it's like, oh, okay, you know. Um, I'm, you know, it's, sometimes it's the only time I get to, like, eat a snack or eat a meal, so I think it's awesome that this thing exists, and I really do, I get good milk from it. Um, I have a huge supply right now, and in fact, I am considering being a milk donor for the New England Milk Bank because we have so much frozen milk, so, um, so thank God for the Framey Freedom for that. I've had some people say that like if they lean back too much or they sit forward too much, sometimes their milk leaks out. I have never had that issue. I'm guessing maybe if you're not sized properly, like it comes with two different sizes. Make sure you size yourself appropriately for which like cups that you'll need. Um, and I think that I'm sized pr appropriately and I don't have any like 
issues. I don't have like inverted nipples or anything else going on like that. So I think that's part of the reason why I have an easy time with it. But there have been many nights where I'm like leaning back and pumping and I don't have anything leaking down or any issues like that. They basically are kind of just like the funnels that you'd use in a regular pump. Um, and there have also been times where like I'm pumping and Gabe needs me and I have to just like undo the, the tubing and I just like am walking around <laughs> with the milk still in the cups and the cups still attached to me and I'm just like walking around doing stuff and it'll be like half an hour later and I'm like, oh, I need to put my milk away. <laughs> so, so that just gives you an idea of how freedom, free freedom, whatever the free me is. So that's it for now, guys. If you like, subscribe and I will be doing a postpartum video soon. For crazy. I've made a couple videos for you guys, but I just like don't have time to edit them and put them up. So I'm just going to do my best and we'll get these up when we get them up. But thank you for your understanding, everybody. And thank you for the person that sent me the adorable pants and bib. But that's it for now, guys. And if you like, subscribe. Bye.